Hey everybody, I'm Spackman from the YouTube channel Adventures with Spackman. A YouTube channel focuses on outdoor adventures, specifically camping, backpacking, and hiking. I've been outdoors since for the last 30 plus years. I camp year round. My favorite camping season is the winter time, the cold months. So when Run Elves reached out to me with a prototype heated sleeping bag for me to test and give them back my feedback, I said absolutely. There's nothing better than getting out into the wild in the winter months when nobody's around to clear your head. But the most important part is to stay warm. Your whole experience winter camping can go down the drain if you are cold. And Run Elves heated sleeping bag might be the solution for you. But while I tell you about my experience so far with this heated sleeping bag, let's see how I got here to this tent at a frozen lake. So I've been testing this heated sleeping bag for a few weeks now. I've had it out in temperatures of 29 degrees Fahrenheit or negative one degrees Celsius. Well, that's the coldest I've had it at, and there in those nights, I used the heated function throughout the night. And I stayed perfectly warm. The heated sleeping bag itself has a comfort rating of negative 5 degrees Celsius or 23 degrees Fahrenheit. I had it down to 29 degrees Fahrenheit, and it kept me warm with the heated function. The next couple nights I had it out, the temperatures were 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 34 degrees Fahrenheit, and I didn't use the heated function whatsoever, and I was perfectly warm the whole time. Well, I can't say I didn't use it whatsoever. I did heat up the sleeping bag prior to me getting into it, and that's my number one plus to a heated sleeping bag, is having a, a warm bed to crawl into at nighttime. It, it is just really cool. Even now during the day, to have this warming me up is just great. So their comfort rating of negative 5 degrees Celsius or 23 degrees Fahrenheit is pretty close to what I had it down to, and I stayed warm. Usually the comfort rating is 10 to 20 degrees higher than what it's actually rated at, and this was right in that ballpark, so that's perfect. So one of my favorite features of it is these armholes. It's actually, it turns into a jacket. If you can see this, my legs are exposed. In the jacket configuration, you can have your arms out of the sleeve holes, which are just basic zippers. There's pulls on either side so you can access them from the inside or the outside. There's the pull from the inside. But if your hands get cold, there's a heating element right here for your chest or your belly. And you can put your hands right there and just warm them up. See, they're down here, but right inside is a heating element. And you just hold on to that and your hands start getting toasty instantly. It's pretty cool. I used it this morning, I used it last night, and it's a pretty cool feature of a heated sleeping bag. Well, let's talk about the rest of the features of the heated sleeping bag. So it's got armholes. I'll actually do this one from the inside so you can see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nifty. Alright, so features. It's a heated sleeping bag that turns into a jacket. Look at this. There's a button right here that's down on the foot box. And when you pull that up, when you pull the foot box up, there's two settings, a medium or a, where's the high, or the high up here. I have it set in the high configuration because I'm a little on the short side. But if you're taller or you don't want it so far off the ground, you can put it at the high position. It also has a hiding hood. If you notice, I don't have a hood on right now. But with a simple pull of a zipper, Without even needing to take it off, you can deploy the hood, increasing your comfort level, and then you can cinch it right down. Now my prototype only came with one drawstring. I'll talk about the final specs at the end of the video and compare this one to what the final product will be. Since this is a prototype, this is not the finished product. So it has one pull on the hood itself, and then one pull on the collar itself as well. So you can cinch both of them right down and close yourself right in. Let's close the zipper all the way. Bye-bye. Then you just have a little bit of breathing room. The sleeping bag has a fill weight of 14.11 ounces or 400 grams. It is filled with 90% duck down and it has a fill power of 650. The down is also treated to be water resistant. I'm not sure what they treat it with, but they claim that it's water resistant down. Let's talk about the heated function now. To turn on the heating capability, you hold in the power button for three seconds. It turns red. That is now high. One click turns it to low. Low has a heating 
of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius or 86 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how hot the heating elements get, not how warm the sleeping bag will keep you. Medium is two clicks. On medium, you get 35 to 40 degrees Celsius or 95 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. If you click it one more time, you're on high. On high, it outputs 40 degrees to 45 degrees Celsius or 104 to 113 Fahrenheit. So on all my test nights for this sleeping bag, I ended up turning on the heating function at least five minutes before I crawled into bed. And crawling into a warm bed when it's 29 degrees outside is awesome. In the morning, waking up, I didn't have to put on my puffy jacket. I just rolled up my sleeping bag and turned it into a jacket and then turned it on and got out and got my coffee in a heated sleeping bag. All right, so camping in the winter time is my favorite time to go camping. I like to go camping when it's colder than this sleeping bag is rated for. So one thing I'm gonna be using this sleeping bag for is to put it inside of my winter sleeping bag on extremely cold nights to boost the heating rating of my winter sleeping bag and to give me heated function <laughs> when it's really cold out. So I'd have to recommend the sleeping bag for anybody that enjoys camping in late fall, winter time, or early spring and you want extra warmth in your sleeping bag. Anybody that likes to crawl into a warm bed or crawl out of a warm bed in the morning, it makes your experience camping that much more enjoyable. My feet are actually getting kind of cold, so I'm going to turn this jacket back into a sleeping bag and lay down in bed and warm up. And then we'll go over the final specs of the production version of this heated sleeping bag. First thing you got to do is unbutton both sides. Whew. And then the foot box simply zips closed. And now you're in sleeping bag mode. The total weight of this sleeping bag is going to be 1.1 kilograms or 2.4 pounds. It's not the lightest weight sleeping bag on the market, but it does have a heat and function. And can you really compare weight to heat? Absolutely not. <laughs> Alright, so now I want to go into the differences between my prototype and the final product that Run Elves will be putting out in a couple months. I mentioned the pull cords only being on one side. On the final production version, on the hood, there will be pull cords on both sides, as well as the draft collar. There's only one pull on the right side. On the production version, there will be one on either side to make it cinch down equally. Let's put the hood back away. Wearing it as a jacket, I found that it's more comfortable to have the hood put away. It's also good to make sure that you have all the fabric into the pocket before you start zipping it, or else the hood get, get, could get caught in that zipper. Now I said it's more comfortable to wear it with the hood put away, but you don't have to have the hood put away. And especially if you want to be warm, keep the hood out. If we open up the foot box, we will find the pocket to my battery. This pocket is rather small, so I had to get a small battery for my testing. The final pocket won't even be on the inside. It will have external access from the outside, which is a much better idea than having it inside, in my opinion. Final size of the battery pocket is going to be 19 centimeters by 17 centimeters, or 7.5 inches by 6.5 inches. And like I said, it will have access from the outside, so you don't have to go into your sleeping bag or open it up completely to change out your battery or turn it off or turn it on when you want the heated function. Now, if we move down to the foot box of this sleeping bag, there's another zipper. This is the integrated stuff sack. And then you simply just start stuffing it in. Just like the hood, you want to make sure all the fabric is out of your way before you zip it up. Or you could get it caught in the zipper. The other benefit is a travel pillow. Say you're out and about on a backpacking trip, but you take a day off and you go to the hotel. You can use this just as a pillow. And it's a comfy pillow too. Those are all the features and benefits of having the Run Elves heated sleeping bag. So check them out if you're interested in having a heated sleeping bag for your outdoor adventures to keep you warm in the wintertime. Run Elves, where's your adventure going to take you?